Well, you seem to always learn something every day, but you're not sure why. This was a ratty old switch. One thing I'll show you is the, the scuffy side, okay? All look like that. I polished it, buffed it out, so I got a nice shiny surface. I took it apart and put the uh, some emery board to the switch so now it functions properly. I haven't quite got it wired, but I did test it to this digital soundboard, which was the um, sounds for the station that I had with these little tiny batteries, which died. So I was looking at this connector out here, and it's a type of a USB connector. It's not the straightforward kind, but it's a type. I happen to have a cord, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna plug that in and see what happens. So I plug it in to a power supply, and then I touch these two leads. All So now this thing will work continuous without worry about batteries because I'm getting an external power supply. I tried it first on my PC and it worked for a moment but then it stopped and then I realized if this has any intelligence whatsoever, my PC is trying to communicate, waiting for signals back. And since I don't know how this board sound was downloaded and programmed, I thought, uh-oh, I better get out of the computer mode. So this simply goes to a power supply, no, no computer at the other end, uh, to a wall outlet. So I'm just bringing in the uh, AC power, which is getting converted and passed around to the circuitry. The sounds are stored in memory. And this is the on-off switch here, which when I solder these guys up, when I push this button, that thing will fire. Now I know it's low volume. All I need now is a cardboard tube to create a sound chamber and this thing will uh, create uh, a much more robust sound. So interesting that you buy these digital recordings and you think, oh, now I gotta get all these little batteries and fuss with that, and no. The other thing you could do is actually wire that up to some kind of a sensor that senses when the train pulls in, it fires off be easy to do with the little um, magnetic switch. Anyway, number of ways to reuse this thing. The trick is to look to see if yours has a, a connector uh, that they use to program it and can you reuse it that way. I'm just going to unplug it while it's plugged in though. I don't want it to sit here on, on that. But at any rate, something I learned before I get started on my next project.